sunny November. Episode 2 Wait, don't go. I need to tell you this, or I won't be able to live with myself. My darlings, you are so beautiful, and I will never have one of my own. My husband left me because of that, and now I'm all alone. You're Rosina. Right? Your mom doesn't have any milk. It's okay. I'll make sure another mom nurses you. That would be only fair, right? You'll be fine. You'll get your meal. My dear girl, wait. Everything will be fine. Did you tell someone? I was confused and didn't know whom to talk to. I was just an intern then. I just went back and switched the labels again. I thought I had fixed it. But she probably came back, too, and switched them again. Looks like your baby stayed switched. You want to abandon me, Larissa, me, the woman who have raised you, only because these Petrovskis have all this money. Mom! Come on! It's not about money. It's about what they can give me. I could go to a good college. You will anyway. You're a straight-a student. You can get into any college you choose. You don't understand, do you? I could study abroad. Abroad? What makes you think they would send you abroad? You said it yourself. They didn't accept you. I don't want to live here. Not with you, not in this country. I always knew that wasn't my destiny, and I was right. I just like when things are beautiful, rich, safe. Who doesn't? You, mom, all you care about is booze. I don't want to live like that. I want to build a career to make a lot of money. To marry a handsome, wealthy man. How can you say it, Larissa, how? Mom, you have to understand. If they take me in, I'll. I'll help you and Kolya, okay? It's not such a big request. Just talk to them, okay? Thanks, mommy. You're welcome. Thanks. Nina, can you wait for me at the studio? Please. Okay. Secrets. Why did you go to the maternity hospital?
much to find out more about this situation. Why did you go and complain at Larry, sir? Don't you realize it can be turned against us? I'm not responsible for her actions. Even if I am her biological mother, I didn't live with her. I didn't raise her, and I'm not going to. I don't care about her at all. What? What will happen to Nina if she finds out? Guys, you have company. Larissa Rosina's mother. Oh, hello. Hi. Please sit down. Hi. Tea. Yes. Can I wash my hands? Yes, of course. This way. First the daughter and now the mother. Look, this is for you. You. You are becoming a real artist. You know what? What? It'll stay with me forever. Freeze. What? Don't move. Could you clarify what exactly Larissa wants? To move in with you, to live here, at your house. On what grounds, legally, she has no relation to us? Wait. Natalia, would you let Larissa live with us? I would. You are her real parents. You can provide for her. We aren't going to provide for her. Luda. She is so gifted, so smart. She is a straight -a student. What future does she have with me? Selling vegetables at the market. Here, she will be fine and safe, and her future will be secured. My wife and I need to think about it. The thing is that Nina doesn't know yet. Of course, of course, there is no rush. So Nina is my daughter, ah. But she won't want to live with me, of course. What? What? Don't even think about it. That's beautiful. It's a shame I didn't inherit mom's artistic talent. Or any of dad's talents, for that matter. How much do I owe you, so that you and your Larry left us alone? Nothing, I... I'm asking you how much exactly, how much and... Yeah.
Luda, Luda. Natalia. Please excuse my wife. She is really upset right now. It's okay, I understand. Volodymyr. Well, do you have what I asked for? Yes, here. Why do you need their hairbrushes? Oh. Let's go. What have you promised her? Nothing. I apologize for you. What you said to her was outrageous. I'm protecting our family. What are you doing? I will tell Nina everything, yes. Don't you dare. I'll file for a divorce. Make your choice. It's either Larissa or me. Thank you for not telling Nina. I'm sorry. I wasn't myself, you know. I didn't mean it about the divorce. It can't go on like this, or it will really come to a divorce. We need to consider it and make some kind of decision, Luda. Why don't you just agree to what I propose? It's the most realistic option. Just go on with our lives. Especially considering that we're going to the state soon. Who needs these changes? Larry, sir, don't you see how she fights for herself? She even sent her mom to talk to us. This woman is depressed and obviously is a drinker, and Kolya is a criminal. Can you imagine the situation this girl is in? Frankly speaking, I'm also not sure if I'll be able to get to love her. But helping her is our duty. Helping her is another matter. I'm ready to help Larissa and her family with everything I have. Of course. Volodymyr. Luda, we're doing the right thing. My darling, you see, I knew we'd find a compromise. Good. Shall we? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Laura, Laura, listen. Don't do that. It won't do you any good. You'll only get yourself in trouble. Lara, I'm worried for you. They are rich. They have connections. They'll destroy you. We'll see. La.
Good morning. Where is Larissa? Is she here? Hi, sit down. Larissa has just left to school. This is awful. Yes, exactly how I thought it would be. I'll do the talking, okay? Well... Sit down. What can I do for you? Natalia. Natalia. I wanted to apologize for yesterday. It's okay. We are all upset right now. Yes. My husband and I care a lot about Larissa and we'd like to help her. A child's well-being depends on the well-being of her family. So we decided to give you a monthly support. Here. No need. We're doing fine. Luda and I aren't fools. We know how hard it is for you. Please don't say no. Yes. Please don't see it as charity. After all, you've been taking care of Larissa all these years. We just want to help, to thank you, to show our gratitude. My kids are bastards. I didn't raise them well. Kolya is in jail. And Larissa is a bitch. Don't say that. Yes, she is. You know what she's up to. She wants to prove to the entire school and, of course, Danina, that she is your daughter and make you take her in. So there. I see now. Let's go. Come on. Larissa, don't cry, my darling. I'll talk to Mr. Petrovsky. I promise you, do you hear? Yulia Pavlovna, please. Make them understand. Even the DNA test was a match. Tell them I'm their own daughter, after all. <laughs> My dear, all right. Okay. I saw at once that this Larissa was a jerk. An evil, greedy, envious jerk. She doesn't want. She doesn't need our care or love, only our money. She barrels ahead like a tank. She won't stop at anything. If we had talked to Nina at once, this situation wouldn't have arisen. It's all our fault. I don't know about you, but I don't feel guilty. Okay. Cursed be the day when this Larissa entered our lives. I told you we should sell this car. No way. It used to be my father's. Sell it. It's Yulia Pavlovna. Don't take it. How can I not take it? Hello. Mr. Petrovsky, the principal expects you at school immediately. Do you hear? It's urgent. Yes, I'm listening. Larissa Rosina has brought a DNA test proving your blood relations. The girl is raising hell. Nina, I need to tell you something. I just want to warn you that. It will be very upsetting to you, not even upsetting. It will shock you. Are you ready? Yes, tell me. 
She is ready. Okay, girls, listen. I'm the real Miss Petrovska, and she isn't? I'm the crown princess, got it. I don't understand what she's saying. She doesn't understand what I'm saying, okay. Let me give you some details. Then, I have the same blood type like all the Petrovskys. Oh, you, Nina, are type B, that's one. I am a spitting image of Mr. Petrovsky's mother, that's two. Nina and I were born on the same day at the same hospital. And the last thing, DNA test results, which proved that I'm the daughter of Volodymyr Petrovsky. God bless you. Thanks. It's true. Bye. Nina. Oops. Whatever. Larry Sarazina came to see me. The girl is in a horrible emotional state. She is a wreck, also. She has irrefutable proof that she is your daughter. A DNA test? Exactly. And you refuse to even talk to her. Do you think it's right? She staged this drama on purpose to sneak into her family. She has big plans regarding us. Now I see why you tried to get her expelled from school. It's commendable that you care so much about Larissa, but you seem to forget all about Nina. My wife was worried that Larissa will tell Nina before we're ready, and she was right. That's what happened. Besides, she did get Nina attacked. It wasn't an accident. Her brother pushed our daughter, and she fell on a glass shard. Nina's brother. Yes. Calm down. Oh, God. Koya is Nina's brother. Listen. Prihori Yakovlevic, we met with Larissa's mother. We offered her financial support. We are prepared to pay for Larissa's education and help out her family. And yet, do you mind if we settle this between ourselves without involving the public? I'd love to, Mr. Petrovsky, but there is a problem. The Board of Trustees isn't happy, you must realize it. They won't want to get into it. It's a bad situation. Exactly the kind that can ruin a reputation. Okay, if that is the Board decision, I'll resign from being its head. What else can I do? Now, I understand why I look nothing like mom. Or dad, or you. This is why you guys are so smart, noble, and handsome. And I'm not. I don't know what you feel right now, really. I have no idea. I have this feeling as if I'm falling into an abyss. And I'm very scared. Keep talking. You know you can tell me anything. Go on. You know, the funny thing is that it had occurred to me many times that I'm not yours. But somehow I managed to push this thought away. What happens now? She'll live in my room. Go to school with you. Have breakfast with you. And you will paint her. She is your real sister, after all. 
nice. You know, it's even good. I'm glad we aren't related. Class, I hope everyone has noted down the homework. Mutfi, have you minded? There is a test coming. Listen, you got her hard. I even feel sorry for her. Don't! She has gotten her tasty morsel and eaten it. Now is my turn. Of course. Listen, have you noticed how everyone took your side against her? I'm shocked. No wonder there. Everyone loves the powerful and the rich. No one wants to hang out with the weak and the poor. You're right. I should get going. Say hi to your friend. I wonder if she comes tomorrow. Nina. Baby. Baby, do you hear? Wait. Kirillo, is Nina home? Yes. She is in her room. She probably hates us now. Don't exaggerate. She just needs to be alone. Did she talk to you? Told you something? She is mad at you guys for not telling her. And anyway, it was a hard blow, you know. It's okay. The shock will pass. We need to think how to talk to her. Luda, what we're going to tell her and how we'll word it. It's too late to think about the wording. Volodymyr? What matters is that she knows. As if it were me who was trying to hide the truth. I told you that was going to happen. Okay, I'm going. To cook dinner. You. Nina! Baby, come eat something. Please open the door. Don't be stubborn. Nina, let's talk. We were going to tell you today anyway. Go, go! Baby? Are you okay in there? You haven't hurt yourself, have you? No. I think we should leave her alone. Let's go. 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 So you told them everything? Yes. Everything. You're so mean. You won't stop at anything. Even slinging mud at them to get what you want. How can you do it, leaving your own home to live with strangers? They are my own parents. But they don't know you or love you. And you are... 
tying yourself into knots just to get what you want. You're trying to snake your way into their lives. It isn't going to happen, especially after what you've done. You will see. I will get exactly what I want, if I were them. What then? You should be ashamed of yourself. Yes, you should. It's shameful to live in a pigsty. Shameful to be poor. Fighting for a better life isn't shameful, not that you would understand. Okay, I'm going to bed. These Petrovskis are nice people, unlike you. They promised to help. They gave me money. They did. Lucky you. Now you can get your son out of jail. Nina. Nina! Please open the door. Okay, don't. Kirillo, are you still here? Yes. What shall I do? Just get over it. How? Apparently, I've been living someone else's life for all these 15 years. Everything that's mine was mine. It's actually Larry says. Nina, this is bullshit. No, it isn't. I have this feeling. As if I robbed her. As if I took from her something that doesn't belong to me. You want to give it back to her? Then give me to her mom, dad, or our house, our garden. It's not my mom. It's not my dad. And you aren't my brother. You see, I ended up with you by accident. Nina, it's not your fault that you and Larissa were switched at the hospital. You mean, you know how it happened? Yes. Dad has found out. Can you tell me? He woke up three times to go to her. I heard that. Good morning. 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 Let's have breakfast. Come on. Is Nina up yet? I don't know. I didn't come in. Good. She needs all her strength, my poor girl. Nina. Are you going to school after all? Of course. I'm not going to drop out. Besides, today is the show opening, right? Eat something. Dad, what is it? Nothing. Here it is. Come with me. Look. He's 
Of course, a genius. Tell him that, he won't listen to me. Sure, I will. Listen, who was invited to the show this year? A professor from the French Cultural Center, there he is. Well, girls, do you like it? You're a genius. Really? Uh-huh. I know I'm a genius. Here, isn't he an awesome artist? It runs in the family. Mom is also almost a pro artist. Larissa, I'm afraid you seem a bit obsessed. They haven't taken you in. Have them? It's a matter of time, Diana. They will, don't worry. Your mom. What the hell are you doing here? It's invitations only. I'm not here for the show. I've got a call. The principal wants to see me. It's about your scholarship for next year. Why the hell did he call you? Well, I'm your mom. Who else would he call? You're not my mom. Go away. Come on. Let's go. You're so pretty. Nina, you take after your dad. He was very handsome as a young man. Please don't cry. You're going to the principal, remember. Right, I'll stop. Do you want me to wait for you? And walk you home afterwards? We only have one room. It's a bit crowded, of course, but we manage. Kolya sleeps in the kitchen. May I? Come in, Nina. This is me and Larry saw when she was three. See? She was allergic to strawberries. That's why her cheeks are so red. Where is your husband? Are you divorced? He died when I was pregnant with you, Nina. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. It's okay. I didn't shed a single tear at his funeral. We weren't happy. We kept fighting. He was a heavy drinker, and he hit me. He'd get drunk and start his kitchen boxing. What do you mean, hit you, when you were pregnant? Then, too, I started drinking because of him. At first, I was young and naive, and I drank so that there was less booze for him. I thought he'd quit. And then I just drank for myself, so that I didn't see anything. Are you done?
21. Hello. Oh. Who is it? Mom. Kolya. Did you find the money? No, but I'm working on it. How are you? Are you okay? So far, yes. You need to move it, or I'll rot here. I am. I am. You, take care of yourself. Shall we? Okay, one more game. Kolya. Where is he? He's in jail. Well, don't worry. I'm sure everything will be fine. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Well, I probably should go. Okay? Nina, wait. You aren't going to do this. Listen, I have decided. That's what I have to do. You have to tell our parents. What for? They'll find out tonight. Larry Sap, can I talk to you? Listen. You're moving into our house. And I into yours. When? Today. Where is Nina? Where is your sister? Kirillo? Is she okay? Hello. What the hell? What are you doing here? Nina sent me. What? Where is she? She's at home. At her home. I'm sorry, but... I think that your Kolya is exactly where he is supposed to be. What are you talking about? He'll perish there. You know how fragile he is. He had asthma when he was a kid. He has already been in prison. Obviously, not long enough. Who is it? Can it be Larissa? No, she has the key. Nina. Hi. What happened? What are you doing here? I'll stay with you. For good. Oh, 